indeed a pleasure for me to be addressing you for the first time as the Secretary General of the Commonwealth Telecommunications Organization. Welcome to the CTO Forum. And I wanted to introduce the forum by stating that my grandmother grew up in a time when the telegraph was the technology, was the, was the information and communication technology of the day that was changing the world. Um, my mother grew up in the day of the telephone and the television. Those were the, 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 the ICTs that were sort of dominating the, the time that my mother, in which my mother grew up. I was privileged to grow up in the day of the geostationary satellites. Um, I saw the transition from electromechanical exchanges to digital technology. I saw the change from circuit switched uh, telecommunications to IP. I saw the rise of the internet. I count it a privilege. And I could remember the very first day a personal computer came to our office. It was quite the day. We were accustomed to rooms and rooms and rooms of the mainframe. Now we were introduced to the, the age of, of the personal computer. You all remember the first cellular phones, the bricks about this size? I lived through that as well. I had the privilege to live through that age. The generation of people growing up now they have been born into what we call the fourth industrial revolution. It is the age of extreme hyper-connectivity, of smartphones, of virtual and augmented reality. They have been born into an era of artificial intelligence and the internet of things. They, are, they appear to be permanently connected to their devices. It is a different age. And even as, you know, they are, we are seeing a phenomenal pace of technological innovation. We are seeing an age where the technologies are changing rapidly. When I started off in the telecommunications sector, the life cycle for telecommunications equipment was 25 years. Yes. Now, if you, you know, you're looking at five years, three years, it's, it's a different, a radically different world. And while the metropoles of the world are effectively and embracing and adopting uh, the technologies of the fourth industrial revolution, many of our Commonwealth countries are struggling to appropriate and make effective use of the third industrial revolution technology. And while the metropoles are considering the sixth generation of wireless technologies, many of our Commonwealth countries are dealing with two, the second and third generation technologies. So unless we accelerate the effective adoption of ICT, we will fall further behind. And the CTO has charted a new course for supporting its members in what we call digital transformation. And not just supporting them in digital transformation, but accelerating that process. And because our members are at different stages of development, the CTO is committed to customizing our programs to ensuring that there is a measurable impact in our member countries as a result of the work that we do. So this forum will be exploring the acceleration of digital transformation. And um, this digital week, of which the CTO Forum is the first event. This is the signal of the CTO to our members and the rest of the world that we are here to support you in the digital transformation journey. 
So I encourage you to sample the fair that our MC spoke about. We have a lot of different aspects of digital transformation. And at the end of it, we're hoping that uh, we will be able to craft um, some uh, and, and formulate some some practical recommendations that would help us in the acceleration of digital transformation in our member countries. So with those brief introductory remarks, I welcome you again. It's great having you all here, and I'm looking forward to a productive and very beneficial CTO forum. And at the end of it, we want to be sure that we don't just talk, but that we act decisively and that there is a measurable impact as a result of the work that we've done here. I thank you.